All right, everyone, here is the question on today's version of Kitchen Table TCG. My name's Louie, I hope you're doing great. Uh, welcome to the channel. Today's question is, with Commander Masters on the horizon and Commander Masters spoiler season and excitement, I know we're in the uh, Lord of the Rings session of our life right now, but with Commander Masters coming out, this is the question today, is this going to be the most volatile uh, couple of months for modern singles that we have ever seen? Let me give you a couple of opposing thoughts and ideas, and I would love to know what you think in the comment section below. The thesis of this video, the conversation of this video is essentially, should you be liquidating and selling all of your modern magic cards that you don't use in decks? And you could do a whole other video of should you be doing that anyway, but uh, should you be doing that as a result of Commander Masters coming out and it having all the reprints in it? So let's uh, let's get into this in a couple ways. I want to I want to talk about why I think this is going to be volatile, and then I'm going to talk about some opposing views that I think uh, could have some things going against it. So number one, we have seen Commander centric cards for the last three years. If you've been playing Magic the Gathering for the last three years, chances are you've accumulated a lot of cards that were either printed for Commander or became Commander staples as a result of their like never-ending year of the Commander that they started in 2020 or 2021. Um, and when we see Commander Masters come out, this is the first set uh, that we've ever had that's specifically Commander Masters. Now, we've seen uh, like Double Masters 2022. A lot of us said this is essentially Commander Masters. Uh, even Dominaria Remastered, a lot of us said essentially this is Commander Masters. Um, we've seen reprint sets like that. We've also seen more direct to print sets like uh, Baldur's Gate, Commander Legends. Like those sets were made for Commander. Uh, but this is the first reprint set that we've seen that's been like, hey, we're going to take all the Commander cards and we're going to reprint them in a Master set. This is the first time we've really seen that intentionally from uh, Wizards of the Coast. So, what does that mean for your modern singles and the, the cards in your binder or your trades? In my opinion, it means that this is the time to sell them. And if you're a store owner, man, this is the time to sell them because you don't want to get caught uh, holding on or having a case of cards that's just a bunch of commander staples that then see a reprint and the, the, the price tanks 20, 30, 40% on them. Listen, if you're a store and you are not selling online, you don't have a TCG player presence, you got to get on that. I've been in stores, even in 2023, uh, who have had the same cards on their shelf for like two years. Uh, and that's just wild. It's just absolutely, you got to have some way uh, to liquidate your collection. Now, like we um, here at Game Group, we buy cards over 50 cents, uh, but we sell all of our cards on TCG Player. Like our store, uh, the people in our store know that they can go to our website and see all the, the singles that we have. Uh, they can reserve them for themselves. They can whatever. Uh, we even, you know, sometimes I'll put out a list of cards that we just had in trade before they go to TCG Player. But all of our cards end up on TCG Player within a couple of days. Uh, in order to get that money back so that we can then fulfill things for our customers locally, get more product on the shelf and, and do whatever. Um, and I am terrified of the inventory we already have as a result of Commander. If, if Commander Master's spoiler season started tomorrow and all of a sudden they were announcing all these cards that they were in the set and we started seeing exactly what the set looks like, you would see the value of a lot of my singles uh, decrease. It's just it's just the way it is. Um, and then you have this other factor of people say, oh, okay, I'm just going to wait to start opening them and, and whatever. So I'm, I'm curious to hear your thoughts on that. But here's the opposing view, in my opinion. Commander Master's price is so expensive. Its price is so expensive. And we've seen set numbers. Uh, in, okay, there's a lot of different versions. We don't know exactly how many different cards are in the set, but we've seen set numbers in the 900s. Um, the, the product is so expensive. And on top of that, there are hypothetically so many different cards in the set that the initial drop in value might not be the extremity that we think it is. And now, I. This is assuming a lot about the magic community that they can they can understand that and not just like see a spoiler for a card and then be like, oh, I'm going to go sell all my cards like I was talking about five minutes ago. Uh, like, I think that's the more realistic thing. 
But when, it, when push comes to shove and we're actually opening this product, if there are, if there are 40 Mythics in the set, um, and boxes cost $400 for a set box, um, and you're gonna get 10 Mythics in your set box, um, that's gonna be hard for the, the value of those cards to tank as a result of just the, the cost of the product being so high. So it's interesting to evaluate this knowing that this is happening. Um, and so here's my kind of final, my final take and my final say. Uh, if you are holding on, this is not rocket science, if you are holding on to modern singles, then you have to ask yourself the question of why. Is it just because you're too lazy to, to get on TCG Player and sell the cards, or is it just because you don't want to give your LGS that kind of, that deal of them buying the cards at their buy list or whatever? Or is it because you actually believe in the value of the cards? My gut says that you just need kind of a, a kick to go and sell those cards. I'm a huge uh, fan of you as a as everybody who's involved in Magic the Gathering or any card game, to be honest, with having a TCG player store of which you can liquidate your collection whenever you need to or you want to or your, your value of your collection gets too high or uh, you, know, you just have too many cards in your binder. I'm a huge fan of that because it... It provides you a way to allow the hobby to fund itself, and I think that's a huge, huge win of trading card games. So if you haven't done that, I'd encourage you to do that. But um, I think you have to ask yourself that question of like, why Why would I hold on to cards uh, that have no real upside from their current value, especially in this time when I, again, I think this is the potentially most volatile uh, timeline for modern singles. Because of our printing towards Commander and now Commander Masters coming out, uh, I think this is gonna be a, a risky set. Um, additionally with that, on top of all that, I know I'm just kind of ranting now, but on top of all that, with, uh, with Lord of the Rings coming out and then just a couple months later, Commander Masters coming out, the wallet fatigue that we've seen in the past is not going to be as bad as the wallet fatigue we see this summer. This summer's wallet fatigue, it, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be extreme. Uh, there's a lot of sets that a lot of people want, um, and it's expensive. So uh, that's my thoughts on it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember to be kind to the people around you, and we'll see you again next video.